What up, Banditos? We're live. It's Tuesday, March 12th, and today we're going to be jumping into some Polarity Switch gameplay. Let's ride. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, and I hope you are having a beautiful day. Reset day, brand new week for the Division 2. That means lots to do, lots to do, including the global event, which is actually pretty darn good. I gotta say it can start depending on the build you run i gotta say it can be rough you know and so i kind of dug in deep this morning i got first thing i went in there and started playing around with this event and figuring out um basically how it works all over again because it was one of those that really i've been sort of skipping um for several seasons now because it was just a pain in the butt the whole switching uh, weapons changing your polarity and they used to be immune to you if i remember right so if you were shooting the wrong color i think they used to be immune and maybe they weren't immune but either way it was just a bummer and then every time you reloaded it changes your thing there's all sorts of annoying things and so uh i spent some time with it just kind of figured out like what's the best strategy for this and then i feel like uh, weapon handling is a big deal and then if you can have the resistance to get out there and melee then you can control everything <laughs> you know and so you know i'm running my typical um well close to my typical um xp farm build so i went ahead and put on the dnh chest piece i don't know if i actually need it but we're also running you also can run palisades and then protection from elites i feel like is a little bit of, uh, of an important thing here um because again you want to be able to go around and melee people because uh that will prevent you from having to rotate weapons and if you're running all directives uh ammo can be an issue too and of course i want to play fast i'm going to clear content quickly and i don't want to have ammo issues and like if you're doing sniper builds you can have ammo issues if you're getting out of cover and i don't want to sit there and wait for the enemies to come to me all the time so there's lots of reasons why i think pistol builds are pretty pretty nice you know what i mean so you're gonna want to check those out pistol build so what we're gonna do is get in here and we're just gonna get warmed up for a few minutes but uh while we're experimenting with the event or well, i basically got it down but i'll show you what's up but while we're doing that i'm going to also be basically experimenting with more pistol builds because that's one of the things that i wanted to get around to is coming up with more uh, one shot kill pistol builds or one two shot kill pistol builds some really fun ones the d50 is always a good one right so uh it's the strongest one so that's why but experiment with that and then uh at the same time but we're gonna get started with this hunter's fury build but i'm not gonna stick with it the whole time because we know it works and i want to do some experimenting does that sound like a plan okay at the same time i'm gonna be uh taking on the project for the day which is the outcast hunt and so um i really like doing the daily projects i don't know about you guys we also got the shd we got the summer project so we can do that so lots of places to experiment today besides the open world and then it looks like it's the capital building for the legendary um i'll go ahead and just take care of this while we're here okay get that one out of the way and then uh but for the since we're gonna be taking on the outcasts i'm gonna go ahead and take off this special ammo because i just don't really ca feel like catching on fire every couple of minutes and then we'll turn that back on when we're done with those folios so let me just clear out well some of these ninja bike backpack all right let's see what named item they gave us double barrel um we'll crush that 
so yeah i was pleasantly surprised i guess in the end you know um ooh, that's a nice magnum huh look at that i might hold on to that 686 magnum um cool as an alternate it's quite a bit different in damage but um in certain events these can get the job done actually let's go ahead and modify this and see with our damage buff if we can get because we're gonna get 100 percent damage buff if we can switch to the magnum so the magnums are a lot easier to use than the d50 they don't have as many rounds but we are getting the free reload which is a mega buff to this event by the way but they're uh, faster to use overall easier to land shots and all that so okay let's go uh kill ourselves some outcasts i guess huh shall we Brass bat, you feeling like an outcast, brother? <laughs> Geezer, the 1886 is, well, it depends. And so obviously you uh, for this event, I'm using the pistol. So for global events, it's, it's the answer, is a, it's a variable answer. Um, it's not a straight answer. So, because it depends on the event. So for this event, I'm not using the 1886 at all. I can actually lean all in on the pistol. Um, at least the D50. We're, we're not sure about this one yet. Looks good, huh? Yeah, we'll do that one. Um, otherwise, it's... But for outside of global events, okay, so outside of global events, the rifle is really important because it's the strongest rifle in the game. So it's got an ability to snipe, one-shot kill. And then on top of that, rifles don't have ammo issues like snipers do or mmrs or assault rifles or smgs and so that's that's why um if i the other weapon that might hang in there will be shotguns you could try shotguns and do headhunter one shot shotgun builds you could do that too that works fine but if you're gonna go out there with a no scope sniper which you can then you can run out of ammo pretty quickly. Even with the auto reload. So, uh, what up, Manuel? So that's why I've, and I did for this event, I was using the sniper build for a while. And the problem is, is that you can't get into ammo issues even with the auto reload. Um, because what's going on is that it'll fill your gun, it'll keep filling your gun, but your ammo reserves will actually be empty. And so what ends up happening is um, like there's times where you want to reload your weapon to change your polarity, but you can't tap into your reserves because there aren't any because <laughs> you don't have any ammo, ammo back there because you're always on the move. So you can run into ammo issues with sniper builds, no scope sniper builds. But if you're staying in cover, then I think it'll be all right. Let's get some ammo real quick. And then we are gonna uh, main with our pistol. We're gonna try to at least, but let's go ahead and rack it up. Really, that was a miss? Okay, so there's ammo. And so you can melee these guys. Change their color to yours. And so it looks like we have enough damage to do that. And as long as they stay your color, then what's happening is you're maintaining your damage buff. And you're getting their auto reload too. Oops, that one didn't kill. I just changed her color to mine, or she changed it to mine. Oh, I reloaded. I see. Reinforcements 
So we're checking in on this pistol. I don't know if it's strong enough. There was one shot where it didn't pull it off. So, but maybe when we're at full trophies, it'll be okay. Come here, damn you. Let's activate head under. Oh, that wasn't it. Try that again. Oops. Fucking fire. Need to get that head kill first. There it is. Okay. Now we got it. And 15 million is pretty strong, but that was a crit. So. 15 million on crit. All right. And we're at full stacks. So what I'm doing is picking on my colors first. And then, then I'll go for the opposite colors. There's blue, I think. All right, we killed the boss at 16.5. So I'll kill this guy first, because he's my color, and then go for the reserve, dude. Ugh. Now you're my color. And then you can skip reloading, right? So you never have to reload, so it's nice. You got an infinite ammo six shooter. Yay! <laughs> so I'm sure the trophies are helping somewhat. So. So that should change everybody's color. See how he changed too? So I only hit one guy. You don't have to hit all of them because it'll change everybody, I guess, in the region because there's a pulse. See how bonus armor goes a long way, is right? Like, see, they don't have special ammo because I don't want to catch on fire, but still. So let's change his color. So he didn't die with one shot, two shots on him. Not bad. Easy. It does come down to the build, though. I'll tell you. Like, with assault rifles and stuff like that, where you're always reloading, just imagine. Right? SMGs, where you're always reloading. Imagine. Right? They're always going to be the wrong color. You're never going to have your buff, is basically what I'm saying. Because you're, you're constantly switching colors. So, anyways, the 100%, this is what I was saying earlier in the video I pinned in the chat, which explains this event. Like, the 100% weapon damage that you get is nice. And it is a game changer for certain weapons, but the reality is, is that you want a build that has the ability to do what you need it to do before the buff. Because <clears throat> you have to get the kill to get that buff and to maintain it. So, you know, you're not going to come in with extra damage from the event. It's going to um, be normal type damage. So we've got neutralize outcast activities, complete Roosevelt Island. Okay. Let's do Roosevelt Island next.
Oh, it's also the league, so we can double dip on this. Should we? Shall we? The best PvP build? Oh, it's always shifting, Manuel. It's always shifting. But for me, I like... Um... Hold on, we gotta do this on hard. I like um, the chess piece called trauma for pvp so trauma builds because when you blind your enemy and then make them bleed and then blind them um it's pretty painful and a major advantage for you and they can't emp that or anything you know so, so basically oh big ass spider get out of here spider get out of here <laughs> sorry basically treat here's a strategy treat pvp like you would a hunter so you don't want on kill effects or anything like that and you want minimum stacking and you want to hold them still and keep them from rushing right so like so it, anything you would run for a hunter is something that would work for pvp what up grumpy welcome in bro to a late night stream But uh, try trauma builds. Usually goes well with assault rifles. Um, and the St. Elmo's would be nice, where you could shock them, throwing the shock in there as well. So we don't have ammo, so we gotta earn that. But I'm gonna rely on the pistol the whole time, so first we're gonna activate. Well, apparently that was a fucking miss. How dare you! Tux, no miss! He does. He does miss, apparently. Okay. All right, so we're pistoling it up. So let's go get another headshot. Here's somebody. Wow. Really, dude? There it is probably being too careful all right so again this is the magnum and it's working like a dream all right so now we from here it's just about maintaining our buff right so let's sprint through this thing the slowest part the only time i slow down is just for that acquisition of power Yeah, you liking that reload on kill? I'm loving it, too. I was finding that it can be challenging for this uh, no, no scope sniping. What, did I lose the buff? Blow up, dude. So I don't have to deal with you. God, you're adamant. I, I lost my headhunter. Let me do it again. So I use my nemesis or my tac 50 to activate from distance. And then all I need to do is get a pistol headshot kill. All right. Let's do that again. Melee is king in this game. Mode. Keep your eyes open. It might be nothing. And so, but no, but snipers are great, but. Helpful, Earl, because it isn't. Shut your damn mouth before I shut it for you. Both of you, shut up. I wish the melee staggered everybody too, disrupted them. It's not what happens. There is a pause though. I don't know if that's built in or if it's just normal but they all kind of stare at you for a second and not shoot <laughs> but if i do this that melee 
then it just ensures that I always have that auto reload. And more importantly, the damage buff so that my weapon is doing its job, which is one shot kill. And that's kind of why I like the pistols because you're in pistol range. <laughs> so. I'll just go ahead and kill that guy. So I lost my buff. There we go. So I'm going to restack that buff. It's a pretty decent time that the buff lasts, too. It hangs in there. What up, Nomadic? Good to see you back. I'm running my XP farm build with a slight change. I'm um, running the Magnum right now, the 6A6 Magnum. And then I'm running the DNH chest. I don't know why I'm checking the loot. We're playing on hard. <laughs> it's all going to be crap, right? Um... I, I in the video pinned I do have the video I do have the build in there too. Why are you so short? Come here, I got a pulse you too. I should have shot him first. If you want to go faster, take out your your color, your right color first, and then pulse. Because apparently, it does change everybody on the field. Kind of a long mission for a league event, isn't it? I wonder what the gold time is 18 minutes, though. Huh. You're your own best friend? Well, there you go. <laughs> it's hard to focus with a gun pointed Nail buddy. Oh shit. Oops. Yeah, those guys are a pain because they're pretty hard to melee, right? We're done. I don't know if I have my headshot. I don't think I do. Oh, you fucker, come here.
Oh, you guys are in trouble? Came out the wrong color. Oops, shot the wrong guy. Fuck. We still got a headhunter, so... It's not that we don't have any power, but... Who are you? What are you doing here? I hope you burn this whole place to the ground. <laughs> it's all good. I know brass, I'm just teasing you. Drop that. So this is nice. I love when the project overlaps with something like this. So we're doing the league and the project at the same time. Yay! Then you're gonna have to find a way to unseal it. Yeah, no problem. It's a 686 Magnum, um, which is basically the same as a police Magnum. They got all the same stats. This is the pistol. I just got it a minute ago. And then I put determined on it. 1.3 second reload. It's pretty nice, I gotta say. Suckers. Really? Come on, man. What the fuck? You do the same thing with the 1886 uh, rifle too, basically. And um, the rifle doesn't. The, the, the problem with the rifle is if you do have to reload, it is slower. But. Uh, you could potentially. And then it's got more of a handling. issue i mean it's not an issue but it's not as easy to fire need to get closer to this dude so yeah so the pistols are a little bit more gunslinger and the the reloads are really fast so that's uh the advantage over the 1886. But the 1886 isn't gonna give you much uh, pain on the ammo part. Once you earn that ammo, you should be able to maintain it. Be careful. They're bound to be expecting you. This is gonna be close. 18 minutes. I mean, we're not that slow, are we? Shoot. We better pick it up. If Emmeline gets away, finding her isn't going to be easy. You've got to stop that boat. I didn't know that either, Howie. I don't think they're supposed to. I don't think they're supposed to. They're supposed to be disengaged during league events.
What's going on with that boat? Hasn't launched yet. Looks like they're in the process of fueling it. There are big tanks on either side of the boat. Those tanks are a primary target. What about Emmeline? Already aboard the boat. Assuming that was her. Yeah, so when you're out of cover, you got this thing they call it, uh, it's called body flinch. And so the game punishes you for being out of cover. And so even if you have your barrel uh, pointed right at the back of the enemy's head, it forces a miss. So, yeah, I guess that's why they classify this as a looter, sh uh, cover based loser shooter. Once you get out there, you'll you'll see that. What do we gotta do here? Oh, blow up tanks. Like right there. You really got to get your shot off before they do. Or avoid damage altogether. Long pause. See how I'm missing even though I'm right in front of him? Oh, now I'm the wrong color. There we go. Oh, we're getting close. Come on, man. We can do this. What I got to do? Shoot it. Come on, man. We're gonna have to finish those enemies too, though, so. Now what? Is it... Okay, that's ready. Yeah, there's too many enemies. I'm not gonna get that time. We're so close, though. That's it. Wow, we were off by a few seconds. I think that's everybody, right? Unless they gave it to us. Let's see, did we get it? League. 
Uh, nine out of ten. That was freaking close. What was our time? They don't tell us our actual. Does it eighteen ten? Damn. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, Maddie. Yeah, isn't that exciting? Yeah, I ran all my characters through. All of them except for my main. I don't think you want to do your main because if you delete your main, I, I'm i not 100% sure I got to look into this, but it's possible you might delete your like accommodations or progressions. I don't know. But I'm kind of scared to do it. Has anybody deleted their main account as a, I mean, their main character as a mule? I mean, to reload its watch, to run it through New York. So, cause I've done all my characters, but I haven't done this one. And I mean, I got more watch points than I could dream of, but it would be convenient to load up this watch. And since we can do it so fast now, it would be convenient for me to do it. But I'm wondering if you would lose something like, um, like collectibles and commendations and i i mean because for example some things aren't shared right so like if i look at my resources for example like some of these resources aren't aren't double aren't going to my accounts like these things right so they're unique to this character all these uh components to craft exotics yeah you lose it huh will Yeah, that sucks. It'd be nice to be able to do your main account, but it's all right. So did we finish our project? Uh, no. One more outcast activity. Okay. Boo. What's the shit here anyways? Araldi? Um... Yeah, okay. Guess we're gonna have to run. Okay, so we'll take this out and maybe you know switch up the build a little bit. Yeah, and I feel like there'd be uh, seven. Thanks for that. I feel like there'd be like these unintentional consequences too. Like you didn't realize that something else wasn't shared, and you're like, oh fuck, you know. I don't know, maybe something related to hunters or you lose all your hunter masks, something. I mean, apparel seems to be interchangeable, but maybe your textile keys all go away. Who knows? It'd be scary. Yeah, so the damage buff isn't really that important, but it will help you chain kill on certain enemies if you weren't able to before. And then it can be a game changer for certain weapons. Right on, Maddie. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm still doing it, man. Like I got a bunch of parts yesterday. It's like it, it's like raining exotics around here lately, because of that. 
Uh, and I started doing the D51 too, the Liberty. Afterwards, God, when you're on fire, you can't even you can't melee when you're on fire. Fuck. Oh, it's killing me. Fucking outcasts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Such a pain in the ass. First time we lost our armor. Ah. See, here's a part right there. See what I'm saying? Raining exotics. Yeah, so I've been crafting them and crafting them. I mean, you don't even need to remember because it drops, it keeps dropping them for you. And sometimes you'll get a duplicate, which is okay. What? Oh, wrong color. Ah, what? Give me somebody to kill. Oh, I can't shoot through gas cans, apparently. Jesus. Pristine example is pretty nice. If you haven't got one, I got a rifle build coming at you first thing in the morning. I was working on that today. It's actually, if you were part of that build lab, we were working on rifles. I ended up changing it up. You know what I ended up doing? I ended up going to the doctor's home. I've been avoiding it just because, you know, it's working not as intended, basically. But the gun itself, besides the talent, is just so good, you know? that 
I couldn't dip my I couldn't help but dip my fingers into the can candy jar. Yeah, they really struggle, Baki. They really struggle. And if you watch that build lab, we were struggling with it. We were not struggling. Well, mostly just from feeling impressed, right? Struggling from feeling impressed because it's just like, oh, with a lot of rifle builds, you just end up with the same old rifle build from like, hello, 1982 wants its rifle build back, you know? And it's like, we've been there, done that for years. We were stuck on that build for years, right? And so that's like the last build you want to run in the game, honestly. <laughs> you know, the Fox's Prayer, Contractors, you know, that whole ordeal. It's like Glass Cannon. It's the last build you want to run because we ran it for so long because there was, there was nothing else. It was like the king of builds. And so with a lot of rifles, because there's no gear set for rifles, because there's no talents for the chest for rifles specifically then you that's you're left with very limited options you got glass cannon focused or braced right and so when you're and if you're looking for damage then you got glass cannon and you got focus <laughs> and if you don't like glass cannon which a lot of people don't then you have focus you have one chest talent uh the model 700 is stronger but otherwise i think it's the m700 carbon is what you want because of its mods i think the mods it's got more mods but i, I haven't really deep compared the two to be honest with you yeah so anyways but we ended up coming up with a pretty good rifle build and so i ended up tweaking it further uh went with the doctor's home even if they change it back to what it used to be, it's still a great gun. I, I liked it before uh, with its just its 10% armor on kill that goes to your team. And you're forced into the 8x scope, but you don't get the 30% headshot damage. But the um, RPMs makes up for that. And it's got really good mods. So it's still better than the M1A, in my opinion. It's still better than the M1A CQB with preservation because of its mods and the RPM. And so the RPMs makes up for the loss of the 30% headshot damage. So you end up in a pretty good place just by running that, that rifle. You get 10% armor on kill. Whether they're body shots or headshots is the same, but you're also healing your team if you're running with one. And it's a really strong rifle. So. Okay, so I guess we're done with this zone. Thank goodness. Uh, so that's our project. Um, what other league locations do we have, by the way? We don't have to do them today, but down here. Space admin. We'll do that later. I... I can't get every time I look at what's the deal with the the vendors opening and closing opening and closing does that annoy anybody else <laughs> it's just like they should be open all gosh darn week Wednesday to Wednesday you know every time I log in it's just like he's never open <laughs> it's bugging me and I gotta wait three hours I mean what the fuck Uh, anyways, I want to tinker with builds too. So we got Uzina, but I'm going to look at the map here real quick. Um, oh, what's the weekly project too? We need to look at that. Oh, it's in New York. That sucks. Stranded Tanker, Tombs, Liberty, all the missions. Oh, that sucks. All the missions. That's a bad weekly project. Stop making us go to New York. Anyways, we can go to the summit too, but um, backpacks. Uzina Getica is not a bad farm. I don't wear it a ton, but Uzina and Golan next to each other are a really nice farm for something really tanky. But let's go into let's go ahead and go into the summit. Yeah, because I got to do my 15 floors, so it's a good time to. 
tinker with another build while running through the summit because you got that little you got your workstations if you need to craft something Yeah, that's kind of weird, Howie. Ages polarity linked to weapon switching and reloading. Uh, Dominican, kind of. Yeah, I mean, what Grumpy's saying, like, I think is pretty accurate. It's, I think this is the one that you need. You need. Uh, I'm going to drop a video for you here. It's you need to watch the level 40. Now what? So there you go. Dominic Dominican hog. And then the second video I'm going to drop for you is the full guide to the tinkering station, just in case you need it. So the deal is you really want to focus on pri your priority talents and your cores, but um, you don't want to just sit there and load that thing up because as a new player, you're really poor. And so all of that gear you're sacrificing into that system as like maybe a partial stat or something like that is, you know, and you may not even ever use that talent or something like that, or that attribute isn't important right now is potential, you know, components or stuff that you need uh to get your builds in shape so that you can farm better otherwise you know you could just got countdown and you can donate your junk but in my guide you'll see there i'll tell you just like if it's not god rolled don't donate it you know um okay so is the event on it doesn't show it's on Okay, it's on and then i want to make sure i change my thing i can change this to pistols because we're working on pistols and then i also want a d50 without expertise so that when i do builds i can show you that you don't need expertise on your d50 um but it helps it opens up build options okay so we're gonna experiment with some other builds now and it's hard to beat a hunter's fury i gotta tell you because it's got everything you need, amp damage and armor on kill, and then disorient, which is helpful. But it's not the only way to go. So we're gonna stick with the memento because we really need bonus armor. And so what I'm gonna do here is uh, we're gonna reconstruct some armor on kill, but the difference is like, if you get rid of Hunter's Fury, uh, you don't really need the armor on kill. So this is one of the things why I wanna go ahead and tinker around with another build because that's something on pistol builds you don't really use and another thing on pistol builds you don't really use is sharpshooter buffs however i like to tack 50 so i'm going to keep it for now plus i don't want to go back to the white house and change it <laughs> so there's that so you know instead of 20 percent armor on kill we could probably get away with uh, the Picaro's holster, by the way, real quick, is also really good on. It's better than the claws out, right? Because you get 15% weapon damage. Oh, yeah. So I'm saying like Palisades is fine. You know, Palisades is all you need uh, for armor on kill. So we could just run that and then um otherwise go everything else headshot so like providence habsburg Let's see which one has the best stat here there's a good habsburg I think I have. Yeah, Palisades. 
And then I think we want Providence down here. Now by doing this, what it does is it gives you more slots in which you can reinvest into something like weapon handling, which is what we did. So we got a lot more weapon handling on the build. More gunslinging. Okay. Cool. All right, I'll leave one red core here because I don't want to reroll this beautiful Habsburg, but let's go see what it can do. Um, I don't know if I want to play on heroic right now. Maybe legendary. I don't know if this build is going to be strong enough for legendary, though. I guess we can try. Oh, let's keep it at heroic. Directives. Okay, so hard to earn. Um, I hate fragile armor. Uh, ammo hoarders, pistolero, cool skills. Um, I guess we can even do scavenge skills. How many directors is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably good. We could skip special ammo. Ragers make some tankier. No need for that. Fragile armor sucks. No regen. I think they fixed that, so I don't really like that. So I'm going to keep it like that. They made it, I think, so that you really do have no regen. <laughs> there you go, Maddie. Oh, of course they give us a fucking rogue right away. That's so annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying because we don't have any fucking ammo. Right? That's bullshit. Let me just die. <laughs> Fuckers. They always do that to me. <laughs> you have no ammo and no armor kits and they give you rogues. <laughs> okay. So I'm earning ammo. It just takes a minute here. Kill somebody. That looks like a nice target for us. Really? That oh wrong color because I reloaded. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, what? Eight hundred thousand? Less than a million damage? Fuck. It's like my nemesis is nerfed. There we go. Eight million is better. Wow. <laughs> 800,000 to 8 million, huh? And so it's a good question on like how much is the uh, Memento driving the build over Hunter's Fury? What the hell?
Thanks for all the gear, guys. Jesus. <laughs> I come in here. I go out of my way to kill you. At least you could drop me some gear. Get out of my face, lady. I'm working on something here. yellows yeah hunter's fairies is pretty hard to be beat <laughs> on a pistol build so i mean we we don't have the damage distance thing, but pistols you're mostly playing inside anyways, and it's gonna give you that amp damage and stagger. I don't know what the damage difference is exactly. We'd have to check, but I just fear he's probably doing more. It was just... Arms aren't as stretchy as yours, are they? So there's 14 million. That's about what Hunter's Fury was hitting at. I think I saw Hunter's Fury with DH hitting in as high as 20 at times. Thanks for all the gear. Glad I'm running all these directives. <laughs> Jesus. Key. Really sticking it to me, aren't they? The other day, or yesterday, I was fighting a control point, and it was a hyena one. And they sent four on a single wave. They sent four of these rusher ladies at me. It was super annoying. 
at the same time. I, had to, I was running in circles trying to get rid of him. And he was screaming, ah! like witches of Eastwick. <laughs> Fuck. Throw all the gear again. We're in this together. Yeah, look, a piece of gear. Please don't be a mod. You are a mod. <laughs> I get more mods than anything else. I did that wrong, apparently. color. I don't know, this build's kind of blah. I mean, it works, but... I don't know why I'd run it over a Hunter's Fury besides the distance thing, which isn't that appealing. Oh, 
Okay, hold on. Let's switch out to... Three piece hots. Hotty toddy. And then switch this over to my SRS. I've been going back to my covert SRS, by the way. Uh, I've created a pretty good build for it. So this one's fun. I just got to be careful how much we're going to have to switch to our pistol a little bit because of the ammo issue. But uh, you'll see. I love how the fire goes through the wall. Anybody else like that? Big fan of that. See a boss, 36 million. Ha! Oh, deleted. It's a beast. Oh, missed that. Yeah, but exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right, Coyote. Somebody's been paying attention. Is it? I was wondering that too. <laughs> I, cause I, I was just saying that in my head. I was like, you know, you could also say acolyte. <laughs> Got it. I, I'm scrambling the words in my head. A coyote 71. I looked at it the first time I saw your name and I thought about it for a minute. <laughs> too nice to correct me. I like it. I just make shit up, you know? The guy I need to kill is on fire. How convenient. Alright. Let's take out these gold money. You don't get disrupted, huh?
hate these things. You ever notice that RNG is smart enough to pair up uh, likely matches? For example, when you're farming for pistols, you'll get holsters dropping along the way too. And D and H at a higher quantity, so it seems. And then um, when you're farming holsters, you'll get pistols, stuff like that. When you're farming snipers, you get a Raldi dropping. the hell um stay there all right spot ever i can't get him to look over that yeah i gotta move well the owner of this 1972 turret please take it down you're illegally parked oops Fuck, where's he going? <laughs> what is this? We get everything. Yeah. Some people not getting along here. Otter! Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, to Otter. Appreciate you, man. Bring in the crew. If you're just not joining us. We are doing some polarity switch, but let me do a shout out. See what Otter was up to.
All right. He's doing the right thing. Playing the Division 2. <laughs> Word. Welcome in. How was your stream? So we were testing, we're testing builds and I decided to switch it up because the one we were doing was doing a pretty good job of dominating. So I just needed a different flavor. And if you need to learn all about the event, I have um, a resource for you pinned at the top of the chat. I did an event breakdown because they made some changes. It's part of project result. They did good changes. One of the biggest ones being you get auto reload. As long as you shoot the right color. That room's done. Some moves like Jagger, buddy. That was a fast room. So I'm trying to get to the top of this thing so we can figure out what's going on. Oh, got his shield down. See how I'm out of ammo down there? So I can't reload? It's annoying, right? There we go. So you got to stay in cover. That's the issue with sniper builds. If you're spending time out of cover. through cardboard so I can't change my color I mean I can just kill him but that's no fun because <laughs> you don't really need the buff the damage buff with the sniper build so that's what happens when you kill the wrong color. You lose your damage buff. Thanks, Otter. Terminal controls. Yes, we're done with that room, too. Let me pin how many floors we need. So projects. All right, we need nine. Oops, I didn't pin. Track. Okay. 
I mean, we don't really need to be running all these directives. I couldn't turn off. I could turn off the ammo ones for smoother. I mean, let's not get greedy. Oh, drones. Should have a rifle here too. All right, not gonna let me land those. Geezer, you're back for more trouble. Do a shout out to Geezer too. They're bringing the whole gang here. Oh. oh, God, that's annoying. some more d50s junk pistols we have a lot of junk pistols shenanies destroy our words you're gonna go blind i don't remember getting a key didn't Yeah, so the reason why I'm trying to get to the top of this eventually, it'll take a couple weeks because I'm doing it one project at a time. So 15 floors at a time. It's because, you know, they changed the floor 100 hunters. I'm sure you know that by now. And so we need a new strategy. Oh, come on. Waiting for ammo. There it is. I guess I should just get a pistol kill. <laughs> can load up on that ammo. That'd probably be a good idea, Tux. <laughs> You've never heard that old saying? <laughs> Destroy our words? Out of all people, I'd expect you to know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, they say if you play with it too much, you go blind. It was a, an old saying to discourage little boys from, you know, tinkering around. Come here, you little fucker. Really? Get that big head of yours. There it is. Let's get that pistol kill, huh?
Oh, finally some loot. Jesus H. Seriously though. I love getting meleeed right after I melee. One of my favorite things. <laughs> I know, I was just teasing you. It was the what you said. It was like it sparked that one liner out of me. Sucks. That's better. Or that it falls off. How he's got it. <laughs> or you'll get a bump on your finger. Do you guys ever have that one? My grandpa told me that one. Like if you point at a rainbow, you'd get a bump on your finger. And the bump was actually the writing bump that you get. Which we don't get anymore. Look at your finger. Do you guys still have a writing bump? The damn technology. <laughs> I just now thought about that. We don't have the writing bump anymore. That's a thing of the past. Ooh, I should write a blog post about that. You guys know what I'm talking about? The writing bump? I get it was uh, normally on your, I think your middle finger, right? From all that writing we used to do, which we don't have to do anymore. But does it still, still, you still have a writing bump, huh? Because I had one too. I don't have one anymore. I'm old enough to remember pencils. <laughs> Come, Come here, you fucker. Ah. I'm afraid of the big bad pulse, so. There it is. Okay, I'll shoot you. Lightning rod again. Ah. Uh, I'm looking for more D50s. So that's what I'm farming for. It's not an emergency or anything, but wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Move along. What's it from? Sounds shady. <laughs> yeah, I still kind of have mine too dark. But it's a little bit worn down from what I remember it. Now I have calluses in different places or I have bumps on different places. So I use a, an Apple mouse and they're actually pretty horribly designed. You know, and because they're a glass surface, like I get uh, like abrasions basically on the edges from using it too much. Somebody did a whole post or somebody was talking about it, like kind of making fun. Oh, it was that guy. Uh, what is this? Sem Forget the name of him. He reviews tech, blonde guy, uh, but he's got a Japanese name. What's his name? Sem. Ah, oh, man. I can't remember his name. 
It reminds me of Semper Fi, but it's not. It's a different word. <laughs> Probably not helpful to you at all. Anyways, he reviews tech and he was talking about the Apple mouse and how out of all the Apple resources and that's all they could come up with. And it's kind of lame and it is. I mean, it's nice, it's sexy, it's a minimalist, but it's really not very uh, ergonomic. Come here. Dang. I think I'm going to add more weapon handling. So the key to a good sniper build for this event is weapon handling. You want that reload to be fast because then you can manage your colors just by reloading and it not be so painful. And you need ammo, which I do not have. So let's go ahead and get some of that too. I think the problem is I have Pistolero and Ammo Hoarders because I was originally running a pistol and I think that's why I'm running out of ammo so fast. It's not just Pistolero. I think every time I reload early. Try not to reload though. Funny thing. So right here, I would reload and I lose the whole mag. So yeah, I think that's why I'm losing ammo. Gotta fix that maybe. I mean, I could just lose the buff, too. It's not a big deal. For ammo sick. Come on, man. Come out. Ah. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Need your attention. Finally, some ammo, some gear. So I got this clip yesterday and I'm gonna share it on a short, but it's of this, I'm fighting the Black Tusk Grenadier and he was about to launch a grenade, but then decided to run away. And so I'm chasing him. And then the animation of him or the actual launch of him launching that grenade happens as he's running away and I'm trailing him. It's hilarious because he basically shoots a grenade backwards while running forwards in motion, in stride. And so you see the projectile coming out. It's funny. It's like, this game fucking cheats, man. I'm telling you, proof, proof. <laughs> he launches it backwards while running forwards. Oh my gosh. And this is like a minute later. It's like, not a minute, but like, you know, like 10 seconds later, like he's in full stride on the go. Funny. Let's see here. What do we got? So I want to change to weapon handling. Let me see what I got though. Huh? Uh, let's see. Weapon handling. Hot shot. Not that one. Does this one have headshot damage? Weapon handling there. 
Should have a... Yeah, there we go. Did I lose armor, though? Did I have armor there before? No. I could probably add more armor, but we're doing all right. So I can change the Picaro's to weapon handling, too. Just get that reload as fast as possible. 1.8 seconds. Uh, I don't think I have glove swap out right now, so that's okay. I don't know if I really need this Brazos down here. Let me see if I have a hot shovel weapon handling. Anyways, yeah, I'll take that one instead. And then we can swap out the gloves. I guess the death grips, why not, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got 20% armor on kill. All right. Keeps missing that key, apparently. I wish I could change the directives. I want to take off ammo hoarders. We only got five more floors anyways. We'll be all right. Come here. Nice glitch. Did you see him snap into that? hate their turrets and the guys that drop them are so tanky too How much armor are you running? Oh my god, another one. Oh, come here, give me that edge there.
Ugh, more? Come here. Really like to land at. There you go. Finally, a D fifty. You know, for the um, the summit challenges, I wish they reset every week instead of waiting to get all the way to the top.
accidentally reloaded. There's a key. I <laughs> know, not really. It was weird. Weirdos on the internet. What can you do? like one shot on these guys Tomas Zawowski <laughs> that's a crazy name definitely sounds like he's from New York coming take it easy all that hostility this is kind of why I prefer the I don't know if you can tell the subtle differences but why I prefer the um the Hunter's Fury out of cover version over sniper versions in general for XP farming is because with the snipers, you tend to have to wait for them to come to you or get inside or get out of cover. With the Hunter's Fury one, you're more liberated to charge up on them and force them out. Of course, you can do it with snipers, but again, that's how I get into ammo issues is because I'm running around charging them getting them out of cover and then by doing that all the time because you do have to do it all the time you end up eventually running out of ammo you're not accruing enough and then you have to switch to your pistol and break maybe some sort of chain buff it's still quite effective though but it's a, it's a minor detail and i just feel like the hunter's fury works at range because you, you can still park it with hunter's fury <laughs> you don't actually need the amplified buff. The amplified damage buff, it works quite well without it. So, you know, if you especially if you're running a sniper as an extra. My authoritar. <laughs> That was funny. I like that gamer episode too. When they were playing and then they, they created up like this whole setup in the basement. And Car wasn't Cartman wearing pooping in a bucket or something like that or wearing diapers or something. Cartman's sort of a role model for me. I like guys like him and like Dwight from from The Office. <laughs> People that are just like oblivious to their abnormalities. They think everybody else is weird. <laughs> you know. But there's a lot of creativity in them though, you know what I mean? A lot of creativity in them.
There's a boss. I've not seen a huge buff out of the event with snipers. I gotta double check that, but I feel like this build... Well, I guess I'm running a lot of armor, so maybe. But this build hits up 40 million anyways. But I usually don't run this much armor, so that's probably the case. I'll retract that. So is anybody playing this in a group? I was thinking about it and I feel like it'd be a pain in the ass in the group because if you melee somebody, you change the color for everybody and that might be a disadvantage for somebody else. Nice little Cheska with kinetic momentum on it, right? And skill damage. That's not bad. I'll hold on to it. Okay, so we only have one more floor in here. And we're ha at the halfway point. Look at us. Making true progress. You know what else should have targeted Lou is legendaries. So I'm going to go and change the pistol directive. It's not really helping me here. At least that one. Ammo hoarders. I'll go and take them both off. We don't really need the directives at this stage. Um, and then I'll add ragers. The buffs are strong enough to go legendary though with a sniper build. Of course. Let's load up on ammo at least. But we don't have any armor kits. So there's that. <laughs> At least we have grenades still. Put that nemesis on here. We got out of there just in time. I have to get out because I don't have med kits, so you know. Because I'm scoped, they won't come in as soon as I drop scope, right? Nice juke. The nemesis is the ultimate rogue killer. I like. Well, I guess 
the shotgun does a pretty damn good job too, huh, the Scorpio? Count as a floor? It's half a floor. Yeah, going, I'm thinking about the rifle scenario. Isn't it weird that rifles are so weak, yet they used to be king in the game? It was like, for so long, it was like rifles are bust, right? I mean, that was a long time ago, but, you know, it was Baker Dozen was king. Everybody was running to Baker's Dozen. There wasn't anything else. I mean, it was a required build on some people's playlists, gamer play scenario, whatever. Like if you were wearing that build, they boot you. Especially in raids. Here's our exotic. All right, let's clean up. Get out of here. I'm just not getting the pistol drop. I mean, for having all those directives. Oh, good. We just got D50. For having all those directives, the amount of gear you get in here is sometimes very disappointing. Sometimes it's all right. Sometimes it's all right. It's not. I feel like all the game modes. I feel like all the game modes have a purpose though, don't they? You guys feel like that? Like the summit isn't, its purpose isn't really, in my opinion, to be a loot farm, although you have the targeted loot. Uh, so it's nice. It's more of a luxury thing. Since you're in here, might as well target that shit. But like the reality is it's more of a choose your, how do I say, choose your, um, directive game mode i feel like that's its purpose choose your directive game mode you know which is fun i like that about here and you can also choose your faction in a way because if you choose legendary then you you don't have the random factions and then of course you have the random faction thing so it is a cool game mode i don't mind doing it in here in here i don't mind playing this game mode not a lot like i wouldn't it's not a daily for me but once a week isn't a big deal at all look we got three d50s right on so i'm gonna mark these so i don't accidentally delete them Yeah, so that's what I feel like it is. So it's like, choose your challenge. It's a challenge run, you know? And... It's fun, you know? And while you're doing it, you're getting some XP. It's not the best XP farm, of course. But you, you can get high XP in here. And then... Just find a way to challenge yourself and come up with some creative builds that can handle those directives, those particular directives, you know? Yeah, so, I, you know, I really like it in here. I do. Of course, it's not my, like, favorite, but... I like it for that purpose. And then you got Countdown, which is obviously just the gear. <laughs> it's a gear. That's it. It's not for the challenge, right? Because it's not really challenging at all. I mean, you could just literally sit there and just follow the group, just kind of hang out, run around and grab all the loot. You don't have to shoot anything if you didn't want to, <laughs> you know? 
just go around and just follow the crowd it's honestly i mean if you really wanted to troll and xp farm that's how you do it it's probably the easiest xp farm in the game and the word easy being the key word there because you don't have to do anything you just hang out with the group just follow the pack and you get xp just for just for the participation it's like a last it's like having a last place trophy <laughs> and then you get the credits too you know obviously nobody would do that that's ridiculous but either way that's just gear it's easy gear and then Agent polarity affected by weapons descent below. is i don't know experimentation and blueprints right that's what you would go in there for but you know uh the fun the whole fun element aside is for the blueprint so that's its mode that's why it exists and of course you got your exclusive exotics for each of these game modes the incursion is for those that like tactical gameplay with friends and then you get your Ouroboros and never play it again. <laughs> There's that. I think they should rotate the exclusive exotics every now and again. Don't you guys think? Why can't they just come up with an extra exotic every season and add it to that loot pool? So you can go in there and get the Ouroboros and XYZ exotic. And then the next season... You can still get your Ouroboros, XYC, and now you get ABC, you know? And I get that messes with RNG a little bit, but... It's still an exotic component. And then it would give us... It would keep it alive in there, you know? Um, What do we got here? So we were doing the Xena. Oh, Projects too. And then we got the invaded. So the weekly is in New York. We're not doing that right now. We got legendary capital. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this event with people though. I like this build though. It's working for us. What was the piece that we needed to change? We've got weapon handling, weapon handling, weapon handling. We're pretty good. Oh, you know what? I do have a hot shot weapon handling here that I've been sitting on that I can put armor on. Let's try that. Then let's tinker this to armor. I mean, we're hitting at 34 million. We should have enough power to do that. And then we got our nemesis and then we got this pistol. Let me open up all my caches real quick because we're just going to keep filling those and it's going to be annoying. Dread Edict. I'll figure out which one's best later. Dread Edict with damage to armor. What does it normally come with? Um, I think it's damage targets out of cover normally, isn't it? Does anybody remember what the Dread Edict comes with? So... I won't delete it until I check. It's probably damage targets out of cover, though. I think that one's got the right setup on it. I don't have it here.
Uh, let's see here what we have on stars. And we are at 33. Oh, it looks like some of this event is in New York anyways. So... I don't believe I haven't disorientated true sons. That's a lie. But we got space admin and then true sons and then Lincoln Memorial on hard. We might as well do that one too. What's the loot over there? Shoddies, shoddy McShottersons. Oh, I was wondering what that second stat is, Grumpy. The secondary attribute. Is it damage to targets out of cover already on that thing? Because I just had one that dropped a damage to armor, and I was trying to figure out if I should delete it or not. Um... Actually, let me save this build. Let's switch over to our pistol build. I don't want to stop for ammo. It used to be DTOC. Okay, cool. So that's probably what I have then, huh? All right. Thank you, sir. You're the man. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sons forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. Polarized hostiles in proximity. Man, I swear I watched my bullets go right through these guys so much. And no, I'm not imagining it. I swear I saw that gate wide open a second ago. Was I imagining that? It is open. <laughs> I swear that was wide open the whole time. Yeah, the Banshee is pretty, pretty powerful. The stagger up front, it really is, isn't it? I don't use it so much anymore. Um, not because there's anything wrong with it, because it's fantastic, but uh, mostly because I use it a lot early game. One drawback is its charge time though that kind of bugs me i have to charge it up yeah. 
Every boy. Hey. Hey you. All clear. I repeat, the compound is all clear. And that can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to meet you. What if we got a 13% protection from elites on a hard mission? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. You guys think like I can't do a ton of this because you know I mean the game is tough so it's nice to get a break from the toughness but uh, and I'm not talking about really the hard mode but more of just like putting a total game on easy mode with your XP farm builds Small doses, you know. But I still liked it better when we had these for two weeks because then I didn't feel pressured to have to do it all. And then that's what makes it kind of dull is that. That's one of the reasons why I never really did the floor 10 thing in, what do you call it, uh, Summit, you know, where everybody's doing that. Just, I just couldn't take it. I just couldn't sit there for hours on end. It's just, I didn't feel like I was playing the game. And it's sort of the same thing when, I mean, I'm talking about like my Hunter's Fury XP build. It feels like, I mean, you're not really playing because it's so easy. Yeah. Fun for a minute. I gotta get down there. But it's an important build. They're important builds to have those kind of things. Best XP. And the game requires it. For resources, right? Because that's the farm. Not gear anymore. Shit. Anything you need, you go to countdown and it'll rain. It's just, it's weird. It just doesn't feel natural <laughs> to get that kind of gear. It's insane. So if you're hesitating to like clean up an account or something like that because you don't want to delete something, like honestly, it's, you're probably stressing out about nothing because it literally rains in countdown, especially gear sets. If there's something that you f should feel comfortable deleting, anything gear sets so back in the day for example uh some people used to stress out about getting like skill damage on like foundry or something something that doesn't seem natural right but like now it's just like i get more foundry with skill damage than i can dream of ever possibly need you know or whatever you're looking for and sometimes you can have bad luck just like any, anything but it's just not the grind that it used to be I mean, even the fact that you did all those named items are in there too. I mean, it's great. It's great. 
it's the same, you know? And I think it is a quality of life improvement, really, you know? Because... Because what you're farming for, which is ends up being resources, is far less specific than trying to get that chest piece with intimidate and headshot damage and explosive resistance. You know what I mean? Like it's it's much less specific to just farm resources. Then you just go into the crafting bench and craft it, right? Using those resources, you get it and then you optimize it, which is all very expensive, which is why resources are just the real farm, but also the less painful way of doing things. Because there's an act, at least there's an actual shot of getting it, right? Because if you're farming for that chess piece, even in countdown, <laughs> right? Chess pieces and backpacks specific, the unicorns, right? Go trying to get one of those unicorns is really hard. Would If you could craft it, you got a really good shot, at least of getting almost the unicorn, you know? You think they accidentally created it? I think they kind of intentionally, I think that it was a sleight of hand. That is totally my opinion here. I, it's, I have no proof behind it, but I think that it was a sleight of hand. My, my theory is that they made us look over here while they were changing things over there. And that's kind of why you hear me mentioning in some of these guides lately, like, hey, the real shift is, the real grind shifted right under our fucking noses. You know, it used to be, it used to be gear and all of a sudden it's not, all of a sudden we're farming exotic components and SHD recalibrations. And what the hell happened, <laughs> right? When? when did this happen think about it when did it happen right do you even remember no it just shifted right it just shifted around the obviously when the expertise thing came right and so i think that like the devs what they did was i think they realized that at some point if it's not the gear I mean, it was all part of the expertise plan, really, right? Like, they need something for us to perpetually grind for because eventually you would have your unicorns. Eventually you would have all your exotics. And then what? And then what? Right? You're done. You have beat the game completely, right? If you have all your exotics and then you have everything. So obviously that's why they invented the expertise system. So there was always something to grind for. And then also, I think it was partly a solution to the stash space issue. I think that's also part of why, so that we didn't have to hoard because it's so easy to get the gear now. So if you, if you felt like you needed to clean up and delete your negotiator's gear set, then you can delete it. And then if you feel like you really want a negotiator's build, you can go farm it real quick or craft it or whatever. Anyways, but it is interesting. It's always, there's still a grind. It's not like there is no grind, right? But now it's a general grind for resources versus a specific grind for gear. And then, I mean, think about how many exotics. I mean, look at the, um, look at the, the fact that you can get two exotics, at least one exotic every, let's just say 30 minutes in countdown on average. I can say 30 minutes because it just depends. But like, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, I just did this. So if you watch my what level 40, what now? I think in the end, like I only disclosed like seven or eight exotics because I was looking at guaranteed exotics, but really RNG del delivered on top of that. I think at the end of day one, I was something like, I don't know. Can't remember exactly, but somewhere between like nine and 13 exotics on day one of level 40. Day one. I had the sweet dreams, I had the tardy grade. I had uh the capacitor i had a bunch of stuff you know what i mean and it was like it was crazy <laughs> you know i was just like that was day one i have all, half the exotics in the game <laughs> there's only 40 something and so if you really wanted to 
you could probably get every exotic in the game on one long ass day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, wait, what did we take off? Oh, special ammo. Let's put that back on real quick. But, and then that's why I think uh, this is part is you're probably like, all right, touch is stretching. But that's why I think the devs want junk exotics because they I think they want to clutter the exotic uh, RNG. I think they want to clutter it with junk. So that it's so that you're still grinding because now you might accidentally get those rugged iron grips or whatever they're called. You know what I mean? And you're like, oh man, not these. I was trying to get my St. Elmo's and you know. Yeah, totally grumpy, but I think that was on purpose. I mean, how could they ignore that feedback? I don't get it. You know what I mean? I mean, there is a budget thing. There's a possibility that they budgeted for this exotic and then they don't have any more, uh, they don't have any budget to revamp it after the feedback. And so they just go with it. I mean, there's that strange possibility. But the other thing is like, it's, it would be an interesting, it'd be interesting if it was part of their strategy. To have junk exotics. because they know we need the resources and so they know we're looking at it like oh well it could be worse i need the resources anyways and so because exotics no matter what whether you're doing countdown or whether you're doing descent or anything it's always a grind it's still a grind even in countdown because you got it it's 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes and so it's components you know, and they know we need them. So we're still grinding for components at the end of the day. You know, I don't know, but. What? Was that not a headshot? Let me try that again. Reinforcements incoming. I'm running armor, so it's possible that wasn't a clean kill, but. I feel like I should have been able to hit that. I don't have any more elites. Hey, what scope am I wearing? Oh, wrong weapon. Really? That fucking got me. That's the bullshit right there. Why are you not dead? Oh, maybe I didn't get my headhunter? I forgot. My bad. I mean, my determined. I think I shot in the body. See how the Tusks are supposed to be friends, yet they're fighting each other? Here.
God. They're so good at their melees. You melee them and they're just right on your shit. No stagger. I think they should at least stagger when you melee. I mean, wouldn't you rather be able to stagger them than apply damage? I would be cool if they said no damage on melee, but you stagger them. I would totally be cool with that. Ah, oh, come on. ammo with this guy. All right, we got a fast leather belt. Was that all the pieces? Let me see. So. So we got the holster, fast leather belt, ornate holster. So there's two. Inverted. And there's four. All right, we can craft. Let's go do it. It's a passive activity, you know what I mean? Just take it, craft it, delete it, back out there. Just keep going. What I would like to see added to D3, I mean, melee weapons would be cool. Something that kills stealth attacks. I would love stealth attacks. An answer to our stash space would be good. And then more physical abilities. Enhancements. I would like to see us move faster, run faster, jump squat go prone these types of things i think those are all things that we expect in a game like this and then um cross play is ever so demanded <laughs> requested so there we go we got all of our dodge city pieces so we just need to craft a Petrov, delete it, and then craft a Providence. Screw that away, and then let's go back up here and then craft this, donate those two junk pieces, and we're good to go. And then we'll delete that. 
And then let's clean up the rest of our junk while we're here. Cena. Got that already. China. Yeah, I'm excited for the Division 3. Who knows? But, like, I just... I don't know. The... the, the I'm a little worried about Ubisoft in general. Like, I just feel like they haven't been taking very many chances and and risks in their game development right now. And that's a little... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Disconcerning. Yeah, I'll show you the beer. Build fear mode. Give me a second here. Yeah, that's a good idea, John. Like, more... Um, apocalypse now type weapons, right? Like, yeah. Like, I would like to see some realities in our gameplay, too, integrated that could make things interesting. Um like crafting ammo or something like that maybe modulated exotics i'm surprised nobody's done that i i can't think of a game that's doing that that'd be pretty cool um I mean, there's games where you can modulate things i mean starcraft had that which was pretty neat so you can really make a unique weapon but not to an exotic and i would like to see that to an exotic uh so here's the build um running tons of armor as you can see 1.5 i got uh palisades here for a 10 percent armor on kill headhunter protection from elites and then i'm running the death grips for another 10 percent armor on kill don't really need that if you're gonna be playing from cover though keep that in mind the memento for the armor regen plus the bonus armor that allows me to get out of cover and uh give somebody melee if i need to that's and then of course you got the regen and so I'm sort of playing into the power up of the game. So you're going to get all that damage buff. And so that's why I added the armor. So your first shot out of cover before you have any mementos might be a little underpowered. But from there, it's all pretty cinch. So I'm also doing my other farms while I'm just doing general gameplay, open world gameplay. So right now... We can go check out some uh, chatterbox caches. So I got one piece. Um, so when I'm doing open world gameplay, I'm just kind of squeezing this stuff in there, kind of like treating it like a project. But um, so I got my pistol stuff and then SMG, so creative magazine. So I got that from Judiciary Square yesterday. And so just need to get the other pieces and i as i understand it it's been a long time since i've done this so i think it's just one zone one per zone in the hyena territory and you're looking for hyena uh lock boxes yeah i would like to see the more realities in the game too yeah stealth play like stealth play that's hard to get right right silent movements a more elaborate skill tree right um unique powers but silencers that actually work <laughs> that'd be nice Where is this lockbox? It looks underground. Is it underground? 35 meters. That's looking deep. It is. Where am I right now? There is no underground. So it must be in this building in the basement? Probably. I think I know where it is. Okay. Going in.
I feel like there's mold issues. Yeah, hot shot fear mode. That's right. Did I skip over that? Sorry. Hot shot. Three piece hot shot. Everything's weapon handling on this one. Oh, I meant to change this to a blue core. Oops. There we go. Yeah, but weapon handling everywhere. Because with the game mode, you really want to swap fast and reload fast. It's totally helpful. Um because you're managing the, the idea is to manage your colors right of the playing field control and to do that you need to swap weapons or reload and reload is ideal so you don't have to use a weapon you don't want to use anyways if you're doing that all the time and you got slow weapon swaps or worst off slow reloads it it's painful So nothing there. Tip a spear though. This is the worst territory ever. <laughs> There's like no fast travel spots. Can I fast travel here though? Maybe. Can't remember. I think that used to be a fast travel. Right on, Barbaria. Welcome. Glad you made it in to a late stream for me. know about classes though am i in i went the wrong way please don't give me another loading screen i don't know about classes i don't know i don't feel like they're dynamic enough i would like just some elaborate skill trees more unique the better I mean it's nice to have something built on I mean it depends the reality is, is that it's probably a good idea to have classes because some people don't want to have to think so much when they log into a video game they just want to go get into the action Ah, they're dizzy ammo. I forgot about that. <laughs> that hurt. And I'm not running a pistol build either. I forgot about that. Did the game mode turn off? It did. It auto turned off and then didn't turn itself back on. Oh, that's lame. Where'd this guy go? Oh, where's this lockbox? Oh, I think I know where it is. Go through the front door. Not that front door. Why are you telling me to go that way? Uh, you're making me. That's not. I. I it's tricking me. <laughs> There's a back door to this place too. Oh, I am at the back now. That was the front. Shoot. Oh, here's a back door.
Did you ever uh, do the hunter in here? Right on, man. Shit, you giving him a try. To go to get the, where's the lockbox? Is it in there? Oh, it must be. So I have to go hit the electricity. Oh, so annoying. Which is back here, I guess. I don't remember. Yeah, there's a room back here. Can't remember if it's upstairs though. There it is. Look out for the hunter. I think if you interact with this, the hunter spawns. Yeah, but you got to have the... There's some steps. I think you got to go get the pass first. Now what? Desk? I, I went to the desk. It didn't show it was active. Maybe I needed to do something else, huh? Should be like a key, right? So they're not there. Why aren't they making this so difficult? Yeah, is this one to have the key to pass? Yeah, just to get into that stupid little room. I thought the key was just for the uh, the hunter, but to get in that room, I don't think that room has anything to do with the hunter. I remember the key to pass thing. You have to like. Was there a certain boss you had to take down who drops it? A basement boss? I don't know, but I feel like that room was independent of the quest. And go over there. Maybe there was something I'm supposed to shoot to override that. Maybe there's a drop electrical box. Probably not. <laughs> Probably all an exercise that anything in there to shoot. Fuck, that's annoying. It's right there. Yeah, I guess it. Guess you need the pass. I stupid. Like, why have a lockbox? In there, you know what I mean? Why is there a lockbox locked in there? It's just weird. I'm back. Yeah, chainsaw guy. It's not worth it. I mean, I just need to... I'm just uh, farming these key boxes. Is that one inside the district union arena? Yeah, that's the one inside district union arena. But there's not that many over here. This one we already did. That one is in a different zone. Yeah, there's only there's only two in this little spot. That one's all the way at the end of District Union Arena. That's the one where you're in the, the mall, I think. So basically, I only have one. Super annoying. Okay, well, let's go to a different zone. There's 
two right next to each other there. Right on, frickin'. about time I use these keys too there was a day when we had to farm keys in the division two Weird building, huh? Ha ha! Oh. Spasmaticus! What's up, man? Welcome back. It's good. Looks real close, huh? Just upstairs? That's going to be the challenge, though. Random patrol. Oh, I think I... Rope? Yeah. RNGs behind these, huh? You remember the rope there? Good call. That's an emission. Which isn't invaded. That is... What is that? That one we can go for without doing a mission. There's two in this mission, though. That's, that's nice. Those and then there's that one. Okay, let's get this one down south first. Yeah, I'm looking for chatter parts. Yeah, I've gotten one from Judiciary Square already or Federal Triangle. I mean, chatter parts, ye old chatterbox. I'm just going to do a general how to get the chatterbox update for folks. And then for the general community, just remind people, hey, when you're out and about, you come across hyena boxes in each of these zones. Open them, open them, especially for missions, especially when you're doing the missions. Um, when they're not invaded. But where they where they cross over a lot, I'm finding, is the projects, which is nice. So if you've been getting into the habit of doing your projects daily or weekly, then they have you go into many of these missions like Viewpoint or Grand Washington. 
and so those aren't in, because they're not invaded um it allows you to passively farm these crafting exotics these year run exotics Damn, you guys, his accuracy, man. Jesus. So good. And so, and that's kind of how I stumbled on the, a couple of these is that, is was through the projects. I just started doing them again. And I was collecting the components. I was like, you know what? I was like, these are probably really handy now that we need these exotic components. Before, I was just, I didn't really need exotics. So I was just really ignoring them. You know, now that exotic components are so important. And these aren't like necessarily ones. There it is. So there's a part right there. The SMG loaded canisters. So I am in what district? This is uh, downtown east, right? Yeah, downtown east and then you know it's rng but that's going to dictate which one of these pays out but that's my third lockbox or four third no yeah third in this district so third in this district so we'll take that and then so we got one here. We got one there. So there's only three then, huh? There's only three parts. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, if you're, if you're part of these, if you're just doing your projects, you end up doing the main mission in Grand Washington and you have doing uh, federal or um, yesterday's was Jefferson. So I ended up getting my chatterbox part while doing the daily project yesterday anyways and so it's like so you and so people you know the other common people oh, this is a classic one and it's just like i explained this god damn it people are like well you can just go into countdown and farm exotics you'd be like yeah totally right like this isn't a replacement for countdown but since you're doing this stuff anyways you're out here doing your daily projects and you're out here or you're just happen to be in jefferson trade center why not also get a free chatterbox exotic part <laughs> you know and and you're gonna make your rounds eventually and every now and again you're gonna just get a free exotic and man the dodge city holster one though i mean i'm doing that one sometimes two a day on top of every other exotic and the reality is is that you're just not gonna find me in countdown all day every day you know what i mean i mean i gotta basically my goal is to get about 70 or so exotics a month and I'm just not going to be getting all 70 from Countdown. There's just no way. I can't stand Countdown more than once or twice a week tops. And I haven't been in there in a couple weeks since last time you guys saw me stream it. So, you know what I mean? Because it's just this really mundane game mode. It's really mundane. It's not hard. It's super casual. No build really matters in there too much. It's just got to have some basic components to your build. And it's just, you know... There's the game mode is amazing for gear, but boring as hell. <laughs> if you're looking for any sort of challenge, you know, and so it's just, it is what it is, but you know, it's, so that's why it's, that's why it's like, what up Bureau? That's why it's not the end all solution to everything because because you're just not going to play it nonstop. That'd be crazy, right? It'd be boring. I don't know. I mean, it's boring for me. It might not be boring for you, but. Right on. Blood for mercy. What's good? What's good? What up, Stig? You flexing? Right on, man. 
You got your priorities right, man. Get that gym time in before gaming. Good man, good man. All right, let's head back down here. And so we still need to do these, but this zone, but I, I don't want to run around there right now. I'll just wait until tomorrow when they reset. But there's only really, there's only really one you can go after in here, right? Because um, that one's locked. And so this is the only one that's available. So this is the pain in the butt zone. Unless you do the District Union Arena. And it's not worth going through the District Union Arena just for the lockbox because RNG, right? So you can do all of that just to get there and you'll be like, boo, you know? So really, this is the zone that's a pain. And it really comes down to this one lockbox. And lockboxes are daily, if I remember right. So I'm pretty sure I can't log out and log back in and that, that will be available. And then the other thing is you can't switch accounts, uh, characters either, because your components are unique to your characters. Anyways, let's go back down here and start farming this gear. So the Liberty is really easy to farm for exotics. And so is the Dodge City Holster. But the Dodge City Holster is by far the easiest. Because all you have to do is just play, just have to play uh, uh, control points. It's just, you don't even have to think about it. You don't even have to focus on it. It's just happening. <laughs> you know, the only thing you have to do is keep your Dodge City on another character. And then the rest is just going to happen for you. And then every time you get a component, you just check and be like, am I ready to craft? Oh, look, I have all four. I can craft. Oh, well, you know, the only one build you need to play this game, Dissident, that Tito is referring to, little jerk, is uh, a four-piece striker build with the striker backpack, obliterate on your chest with Fenris, probably is what he's talking about. And then the F2000 assault rifle with Optimus, perfect Optimist, and Gunner, and no armor cores, all crits, <laughs> you know. And then you get a reviver hive and a shield. Yeah, if you see the D50, that's a good point, uh, Grumpy. If you see the D50, you should buy it. Um, but with Countdown, that shouldn't really be much of an issue either, right? I think... Um, so I have three right here. One of these I'm going to save for actual use if I get a good one, which I didn't. So here's three Liberties right here. And I don't think you need to save too many, like five tops, right? Because... Because you're not going to do a back-to-back -back farm, really. It's not uh, time efficient to do that, right? So it's the capital building, and then you got to do the viewpoint. And so each one of these missions are going to take you 15 minutes. And so 50, I mean, and this one being the longer one. So let's just, but let's just say 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and then 15 minutes, and then 15 minutes. That's an, that's an hour to do all those missions. And, you know, you can go to Countdown and, and get that too faster if you were trying to farm exotics and that's the only reason why i'm bringing up countdown is because if you're trying to farm exotics countdown is going to be faster so this is more like for the liberty uh it's more like hey i'm going to be doing these missions at least once a week anyways and i might as well craft a liberty once a week every time i do it so you know four liberties is four weeks worth of exotics four exotics you know Every now and again, go to Countdown, do pistols. Or uh, what's also convenient, you know, if you're thinking ahead is... Um... Oh, I need to reset the control point. If you're thinking ahead, it's just every week you're going into the summit to do your 15 floors to get that exotic. So if you flip that over to pistols, then get your D50s on the way up, if it pays out, obviously, then, then that's also convenient. 
but yeah you know because if depending on your stash issues you know you don't want to be hoarding gear you're not using right too much and so so probably two or three is fine reality but yeah totally but yeah so i'm just suggesting these as not to be like a primary focus of getting your exotics but more of a passive way of earning exotics by just doing the missions that you're doing anyways but i gotta tell you that dodge city one is it pays <laughs> we've already got one today and we're now working on our other one all you gotta do is fight control points okay so we don't have any ammo so hold on a sec All right, let's do it. Uh, let me pick on an elite. I need to see if this bunch of armor is gonna hurt that elite. No, it's about a million and a half off. It's okay. Do you see that weapon swap? It's nice. Look at that fucking turret over there. Fucker. So I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but on my sniper builds, I've been, um, I changed up my scope strategy. I'm now using the 8X scope on my sniper builds for faster ADS. And the ability to shoot uh, more accurately on the run without having to do a no scope strategy because the no scope strategy is amazing. I like it, uh, <clears throat> except I would prefer a little bit of a zoom, which we just don't have that option really. But more importantly, you lose all of that damage by going no scope, right? And you might argue on some builds you don't need that damage, but it allows you to run two additional armor cores sometimes depending on your loadout and your scenario so either way 30 percent damage on the 8x scope is extremely nice now you might not you might say oh but i hate the donut and i'm not a big fan of the donut either that red circle but it doesn't matter because <laughs> you don't need to be that precise and once you got headhunter i mean that was an actual headshot right there on the fly right so it's still damn accurate you know I mean, those are very small targets back there. And of course I'm running determined. That's the real reason you don't give a crap. Donut or not, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You don't need actual crosshairs. You're running determined. So in other words, it's like being able to no scope while preserving your 30% headshot damage. Now the digital scope gives you 45%, true, but I'll take a loss of 15% headshot damage to be able to ADS faster for sure. And so it allows you to step up to fools and play really, really, really close in. We're always evolving around here, folks. Always. <laughs> You got to try out new things. You have new realizations. So what happens is the game doesn't necessarily change. You do. You evolve, right? And so that's why sometimes you just got to try new things. And what do I need? What does my play style have evolved to? And, you know, I've always liked running and gunning and, and uh, sniping. And one of the things is um, we've been doing the no-scope strategy for a long time. But then I realized lately because of the ninja build. This all kind of came to mind because I was experimenting with that ninja build, which if you don't know, the ninja sniper build is the one where we're running the ninja back bike, the ninja, ninja bike backpack. That's the word I'm looking for. And we got 100% weapon handling on it. And so 
uh because we have so much weapon handling it's like hey let's get out there and just be aggressive be be aggressive and so by doing that i was experimenting i was like you know what it's like it doesn't have to be an all or nothing strategy with the no scope the 8x scope is quite flexible especially for center mass shots on the fly i mean that's on the move and extremely hard to shoot on the move now it's not perfect but it's extremely hard to shoot on the move the game severely punishes you they do not want you to snipe on the move you know and so sometimes i'll at distance i'll have to slow down a little bit but but when they're we're within range like that, man, I just pick them off real easy. And so the scope, I like the 8x zoom. It's perfect to distance, you know? It's not super deep. And not super zoomed either. So it feels right. And then when you're blind firing, you're going to get the benefit of that scope. So like here. <laughs> so I got the 30% headshot damage on that. Anyways, try it, try it. And again, like you don't have to be a fan of the 8X scope to really enjoy it on the sniper build because you're going for center mass anyways. Yeah, that would be ideal, but don't you get tired of clicking in on that thing? Like I hate that. So, because you can put it in on the sniper, I think I tried that. And uh, every time you zoom and shoot, it reloads. I mean, you have to re-click. I hate that, but you're right, it's ideal. It's the perfect distance. So uh, if you click in, I mean, that zoom is perfect. I would love to be there. But when you zoom in again, it's gone. And then you have to click in again. And so every time you shoot, it goes away. Isn't that annoying? Shoot, it goes away. That's so annoying. So every time you rechamber, you crank that bolt, it goes away. Otherwise, it would be beautiful. I'm surprised we don't have that scope fixed, right? I also wish we had flip scopes like they have in lots of other games. Most every other game, right? Where you can uh, shuffle your scope, you know, where they have the, where you can uh, rotate your weapon and look through the side of that scope. It should still be on your map though, Lairski. Um, you do have to have, I think, I think Warlords of New York for countdown is required though. And I think you have to be level 40 too, right? I don't think there's a level 30 countdown. Oh man. Oops, that was a bad shot. Four million. Actually, let me hit it with this and see what that damage is. Oh, wait. Let me reload. Hold on. I'm getting there. She's got health, though, now. Ten million. So, with the with the memento, we got the power we need. All right. And she was in cover. So if she was out of cover, we would have hit her for higher. Because of the damage the targets out of cover. But... Sometimes I feel like my character is like a medieval knight wearing a skirt. <laughs> With this outfit. Especially when he's running. Don't launch that grenade over here. Oh, 
out of your fucking backpack. Oh, I hate you and your backpack, man. Fuck. Stupid bulletproof backpack. Oh my god. You're a pain in my arse. No ammo. There's a problem with getting out of cover. Let me use my pistol real quick. Get some of that ammo. Some of that sweet, sweet ammo. It's annoying though to have to do that. Probably just sit still, huh? Problem solved. It's raining trophies. If you don't mind your sniper build's first shot being a little weak, then the world is full of possibilities <laughs> when it comes to sniper builds. I mean, you can create some crazy powerful shit. Please don't. Another exotic part. See that? We'll, get, we'll check it out later. Oops. Oh my god. We need some ammo. Again. Really? Why? Why did that not kill him? Hostile supply convoy nearby. God, they give you so little ammo on kill. They need to fix that, don't you think? I mean, 20 rounds? Screw off. Joke. Oh my god. Party around here, huh? Another exotic component. Two and one mission. I had that happen to me yesterday, too. Fucking party. Let's get some, huh?
supply room access. Unlocked. Yeah, so the drop on those components are really high. I was estimating about 25% chance. Yeah, and they were both unique. So probably we, we'll probably end up crafting another one here in a minute. What am I doing here? You. Let me kill you with my epistol. Ah. Lame. Ah. Need my ammo. God damn it. Get out of here. Thank you. So I can get my 20 fucking rounds. <laughs> Lame-o. Fucking grenade. What? I do, by the way, have a new ninja build coming your guys' way. Got pretty interesting, so ninja sniper build, that is. They got interesting this season because... They added uh, some more weapon handling, which gives you the ability to power up your build in other ways. More damage, more armor on kill. I'm on uh, Xbox, and there's no crossplay in this game, which is lame. Maybe in D3? We're hoping. The iron lung recalibration you can find from um, Anaya once you already own it. So, was the Iron Lung last season, right? So, you should have it already. But check Anaya. She's right next to the crafting bench at the White House. But they do, if you got it from the rewards track, then they do give the blueprint a couple of levels after you acquired it. Get real. I swear I hit that already.
Another exotic component. <laughs> it's raining. Dodge City is amazing, I'm telling you. I mean, it could be a dupe, though. We'll see. But still, good odds and drops, right? Let's see. Nope, it was new. Three or four. Back to back. Who's next? Ah. Lighting's horrible, huh? Another one, another one, four in a row. Ha <laughs> ha, four in a row. Can it be the last and final piece? Nope, it can't, that one's a duplicate. But still, damn, right? The hella good odds. Yeah, I know. I'm up late. What up, bitch, please? Bitch, please. <laughs> Good name. I like the way you spelled it, too. Have a little bitch, please. Doesn't let you crush these either, so you just kind of have to leave it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, craft, circle back, pick it up. Because it'll stay there for 30 minutes, huh? But if I end up resetting the map, it goes away. But still, good point. Let's see if I can manage. Depends on if we get the next one. I think I'm needing one more. Um, should have four. I think I have three. I don't remember now. Um, pistol, 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 SMG, holster. Okay. So one holster... Two, three, yeah. So I need one more. Let's see if the next control point will deliver. I haven't seen all four drop from the same faction yet. So I've seen three drop from the True Sons, and we just saw it again. But then I saw when I was doing this the other day, I saw it was I was getting repeats, and then I moved it over to the Outcast, and I instantly got that final one. So I don't know if it was RNG or not. Just luck. Ends up being pretty convenient for me, mostly just because I do a lot of open world stuff, especially, and I'm always fighting true sons, and so it's like, perfect setup for me it's a good place to test all right so we have all our trophies so we should be banging these guys out real quick 17 million for a shot that seems unusually high actually <laughs> didn't it we're not supposed to be getting damage buffs off first shot
What was that about? What do you think? How did I hit 17 million on the first shot? I mean, I got weapon handling and armor everywhere. Oops. That's where did I lose the buff? I did. Now I lost the buff. What up, Sheriff? Uh, I'm not searching for anything really. Oh, but I am just happen to be getting the Dodge City holster parts. Passively farming those, really. And then I was grabbing chatterbox parts earlier. But otherwise, just hanging out, killing Sergeant Lou. Killing Sergeant Lou's. Incoming hostiles detected. Oh, that weapon swap, huh? I love that they fixed the weapon handling issue. I never knew it was broken. I just thought it sucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? The weapon swapping. I just like, oh, weapon swapping in Division 2 sucks. It's really slow. It turns out it was broken this whole time. Who would have thunk it? There's more people alive. Where'd they go? There's another one. Five for five. And that's it. That's our final part. Wow. Four out of five paid out, guys. That's hella good. Hell of a good RNG drop right there. Seems super unnatural. Okay, we're going to go cash in on that. And then do what Grumpy was saying. Go back and pick up that part. Laying on the ground. Grab this gear. Yeah, you do too, Firebird? Yeah. I, I, I farm them a lot too. So that's why I get a lot of drops because I'm always playing with them. So it is confirmed that you can get all four from a faction. Because we just got all four from the True Sons and I hadn't experienced that yet. So I got three out of four before, but all four from True Sons. So I was wondering if you had, because before you had to fight all three factions to get them. So that's, and it's really convenient because I fight the True Sons a lot. So that, that matters to me. Especially during global events, right? When you're really taking advantage of this shit. Oh, I got to delete something first. Do 
We've got the holsters and then Petra first. Providence. And then back to the top. Craig, appreciate the sub. I saw that. I forgot to say that. And then junk it and deconstruct it. And we got a, a manic. All right, let's go over here and pick that up real quick. George, what up, man? It's all good. Never too late. Never too late. I'm late. I'm late. Let's see if this exotic is hanging out still. It is. We don't need these, but I can't help it. <laughs> Got to grab them. Yeah, it goes pretty quick, though, to clear those control points. The only thing is the sniper's builds, if you're moving quick, it, it, the ammo thing is annoying. Like, I'm almost thinking about turning off the ammo directive. It's, it's annoying to have to switch your pistol every now and again. And you're killing so fastly. You're quilling, you're, well, you're killing so much, I should say. It's more of the issue because you're out there running and gunning. It's refilling your initial ammo, but you have to reload to change color. You know, it's not always convenient to melee. And so. Yeah, I just don't know if it's worth running the, the Pistolero directive, but it sucks to have to lose out on 25% XP, but that's the cost of playing with the sniper. Yeah, that's a good point. I could run Gunner. Um, the other thing I was just thinking is I could run that fourth piece. And I. the fourth piece doesn't put it back in your stash, though, does it? Probably Gunner would be the good fix. And then I can get the, rid of the 511s, right? Um, and then run a Habsburg there instead. Um, or the fourth piece of hatchet either way. Yeah, Azriel, that's what I'm saying too. But the issue isn't really the, well, you have to reload. You have to reload because of the color management to use it as a color management thing. So, you know, the, the blue arm, gold arm thing. So it's not about having to reload because I don't have ammo on my gun. Because the game mode is refilling our ammo. So it's like I have to reload in order to uh, change the color of my arm. And the problem is, is that there's no ammo. I have no ammo outside of my gun. I keep refilling the gun. So I'm always refilling it, refilling it. And then when it comes time to reload, I realize, oh, I don't have any ammo down there. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's like getting caught with your pants down, basically. Let me try... Habsburg. And so the reason why I'm going to Habsburg, I mean, I can, I can go hot shot too, but uh, I guess to power up that first shot because we're going to lose headshot damage. So let's try that. But we need to get, we're going to need to head over here. Switch it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, George, it, it'll depend on your, uh, your play style and what weapon you're using. But for snipers, if you're out of cover, you're not generating ammo. But if you're playing from cover, if you're planting it, then you'll, you'll regenerate ammo from sharpshooter, which tends to be enough to clear entire missions and control points. But um, I tend to move too much for it to stack up on me. It's a me problem, not a you problem. Most people don't move as much with their sniper builds as I do, so it's rarely encountered by the general public. And Gunner is also good because I'm not relying on the 45% headshot damage digital scope. So that's cool. And then I can delete that. I think we lost an armor core maybe, but I'm all right. Yeah, because we were running the five lens of armor, but we'll add it if we need it. But let's go see if that's enough to resolve our ammo. I would suspect it is because we are refilling our mag. So we're only doing that. We need to change colors. So I will miss my TAC 50 though. It's the only reason why I was running sharpshooter. <laughs> I do love me some TAC 50. Um, also, it's good for rogues and stuff like that because of the blinder grenades. Guess we already got ammo. Let's see if we can one shot this fool. Nope, we were close. I want my original guy. Fucking foam guys are so annoying, right? Oh, that wasn't a headshot. That's so annoying. And now I'm on fire. <laughs> Jesus. These guys are ridiculous. And then on top of that, you're not just on fire. You're dizzy. See right there, I reloaded, right? So I could change my color to gold. And then that way I can maintain my buff. And so let's see if we run out of ammo. So reloading to change my buff. Color, I mean, there we go. Oh, shit. Reloading to change my color again. Uh, oops. Damn. So I'm gonna pick up the gold first. Reloading. Please stop mailing me. Oh, <laughs> God. It's annoying because they can stagger you, but you can't stagger them. Annoying. Reloading again. See how I have to, I have to reload? So as long as I have some ammo there. But it's weird because it looks like my ammo is deteriorating, but it shouldn't. Right? If I'm refilling my bag, like, all the time. I mean, why don't I have 50 rounds by now, right? I reloaded. I mean, so when I reload, I rechamber. It's only one round that I'm putting in there. But it's acting like. See that? But it's really chewing through that ammo. There we go. We just got a bunch of an ammo regen right there. So reloading. Reloading. So that's how you manage, because you can't melee everybody, especially at this distance, right? 
Reloading. And also, if you're not running a ton of resistance, then reloading or meleeing is dangerous. Because they tend to melee you back. <laughs> Reloaded to kill the boss. Get his little teeny bitty head out. There it is. All right. So, I mean, it's borderline, but we got ammo. But I wasn't moving a lot either. <laughs> so, not that this should matter. Because Gunner will refill. But it's it's. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. me on that one ah oh, fuck you and a horse you rode in on ah where's my exotic component in that one RNG's done, paid out, paid its dues. Yeah, it's still quite borderline. I mean, I'm surprising it's not much for all the free reloads we got, right? Kind of disappointing on the free reload thing. You'd think it would add up to something. You know what I think it is? Is I think it's the pistolero cap. I think pistolero caps your ammo to ensure you struggle. Let me see here. Yeah, but the, the whole point is I don't want to swap to my pistol because then I have to re earn determined, and that's annoying. It slows you down. But it worked. We just got by with, by the skin of our teeth, but at the sacrifice of Providence. But what I think it is, it's probably the Pistolero. So what I'm going to do is hang out here for a minute. All right. And let's see if we can accumulate anything over 35 or 30. Untapped gaming. So this is the build I'm running right now at the moment. Uh, we just changed it just now because of ammo issues. And so we added Gunner because I'm spending a lot of time moving. And uh, we're Providence... I'm sorry, where Sharpshooter gives you ammo, but not if you're moving out of cover. So we, we switched to Gunner, and then I, I was running the 511 Death Grips, and I just took those off. Because now we got 10% armor on kill up there with the Palisades chest piece, giving us 10% armor on kill. And then I have weapon handling everywhere because you want really fast reloads because you're reloading a lot to manage your colors. Colors, colors. Remember that movie? So there's 37 ammo. Because if you can accumulate a mass of ammo, then yeah, at the beginning you could just, you know, park it here and then earn your ammo as you're kind of fiddling around, cleaning up your stash and stuff like that. And then get out there and never have any issues. But yeah, you could just switch to your pistol too if that doesn't bother you. But I'm just trying to cut out that step. Because I discover I'm out of ammo at the a bad, inconvenient time, I guess I should say. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm out of ammo. This is not good. I'm standing in front of an enemy that I need to change colors on. So we got 50. It's not bad. Let me see if it, let's, let's just go a little bit longer here. Cause it's weird. 
Look at my my chambered round keeps going away. I didn't change weapons. Look, I went into my menu. Let's go come back out. It's still there now. That's weird, right? Do it again. What did what did I do that? I clicked in on something. Oh yeah, because my see now my pistol is in my hand. We go back. See, it's gone. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let me try that again. Okay, you got that, and then let's go here. Yeah, every time you switch to a piece of gear, it puts your pistol in your hand. So it takes that away. Okay, we're at 62. So it, it's still climbing. So that's good. That's good news. I think it will work. I think it is a solution. Good job, Grumpy. And then... Um, Let's go do a, I guess, a damage check now and see how much room we have for armor. The Don Dara. <laughs> what up, man? That's what we do. We pick people up when they are down. Right on, Nigel. Then you know the pain. Also, is this dude awake yet? No, another 20 minutes, of course. <laughs> Every time I try to go to Danny's clothes, and it's annoying me. Even though I have him discovered. Support him. What's the point of discovering him if he's closed? Okay, so now we're looking for that first shot damage and we want it on an elite. We want to see. Last time I had 17 million with my TAC 50 and it didn't make any sense to me. There's 21 million. Am I right? We're not supposed to be getting a damage buff on the first shot. But glad to have it. Apparently we are. Because the damage buff doesn't come until on kill. So I don't get it. Is that a... I didn't see that earlier today when I was in the, uh, the test runs. Somebody tell me I'm crazy or I'm wrong or something. <laughs> That's twice in a row. So, on first shot. So, earlier, at another control point, we did it. And remember, we hit under. We hit under. Nine, ten million. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I was like, it's worth it because after we get a couple of trophies, we're on our way. So we just lost it right there. Okay, so another chance to test. So switching. So now we have a damage buff though, so. Well, that was a waste. How do you get over there so fast? What the f <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck, he was like right in front of me a second ago. Ah, I'm annoyed. Get these guys to stand still for a second. Come here, dude. That's first shot kill, but we had our buff right there of 100%. So that makes sense. I get it. When we have the buff, I expect it to be 100% uh, what I normally do. So double.
detected. <laughs> right on, Sheriff. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Actually, I want to lose my buff because I want to check that. Okay, so the buff is gone. Switching to my nemesis. This should be, you know, like 10 million. And that was 18 million. I mean, if that's the case, I could put on more armor is my point, and I'm going to do that, but I'm not sure I can rely on that damage being here because earlier we tried it and we were like, oh, nine million for shot, you know, and I was, it made sense. It made sense. That's what I expected my damage to be. I'm gonna add more armor then. That one I can't, but this one I can. Right on, geezer. Catch you tomorrow. The geese, the geester. I mean, that's all I can add. <laughs> so, you know, we got weapon handling everywhere. I mean, I could take off Habsburg and put on more armor on kill, but I'd, with the trophies, we don't really need that. Right on Malrath. Kind of like Geezer, though. Just saying. Detected. Rolls off thy tongue nicely. Try to attack 308. Uh, I, I think the one I have down here is a scalpel, isn't it? Yeah, I don't have it. But you know what would be interesting is an actual rifle. Like... The M1A, right? Let's see what that thing does. Because that's even faster and more ammo. The problem is I'll have to change some things, but maybe not because Habsburg is 15%. This is armor on kill. And then we got headshot damage. The 30% marksman is going to the nemesis, which we need to charge up. So it might be good, right? Let's check this. You think? Yeah, especially with the armor I'm running. I just added more armor too. Huh? Maybe with the uh, Baker's Dozen though, or the other one. The classic. 100% is probably not enough, huh? It's probably going to hit at like 6 or 7 million. Maybe less with all this armor. Because we don't have any headshot damage either. Uh, library first. Awesome. Definitely library. Expertise should be the last thing you're worried about. Honestly. Like, so you want to do your library? 
and then your gear should be optimized fully so that all your roles are are top like 100 percent and then it's expertise so you shouldn't expertise anything that it's not god world yet So 17 million on first shot. I just, it's just not making sense to me. Sorry. I just, I know I keep saying that, but so 4.7. Let me try another one. Oh, apparently the wrong color. Hold on. Get that out. Hold on while I get foamed and caught on fire. Okay. Now I'll switch. This guy, he's half mass, but that's okay. So five million. Yeah, eight million. But close. I think it's workable. I think it's workable. Uh, but yeah, you're right. It's probably gonna take a sack or two. But this weapon is smooth. I mean, look at the. There's no bounce on it because all the weapon handling I'm running. Let me add. Uh, let me get out of here. See if I can get them to ignore me. Because that would be an ammo game changer. And you can put back on sharpshooter for more um, headshot damage. We just changed this, but now I'm gonna change it back. Oh, it's not gonna let me do this because that guy fucking sees me. Jesus. So I do have a, a red one here. Let me just move some things up. Keep the weapon handling. I'm gonna roll this to headshot damage. Oh, that's probably why I didn't have the 150, did I? Well, we did, we must have, cause that's 185. Okay, so we got that. Headshot damage there. And then let me just roll this. Let me just put a red one here. Cool. All right, let's see if that fixes it. And Sharpshooter would actually increase the damage on this because you'd get, well, not a ton, but 15% headshot damage. And $20 million first shot. Okay, so let's see if that transfers well. I mean, you got to stack right off the first bat anyways, which we're, we're playing into anyways. I missed the head there. But I don't think that mattered. I think that was 13 million. 6 million. 9.9. There it is right there. Third kill. So, but we want it on the second, the second kill. But my first kill was also not an elite and that made a difference. I mean, less power was transferring. Well, fucking smooth, though. Holy shit. I mean, look, there's no bounce on it because all the weapon ain't alien. Okay, let's try it again. Let's wait for that buff to... And then let me add more headshot damage. So I want to try to get the damage to where it needs to be, then we'll back it up. But it would be worth it to get this to work, hands down. It's just such a smooth. Okay, we need an elite. No, he's not an elite. So 21. Okay. Let me get that purple guy over there. I got a trophy, but I'm running a lot of armor, so maybe we'll make a day. Six, not enough. Yeah, it might be too much to ask. Because I think we were able to get this on reanimated to work.
It's still kind of fun. <laughs> Gotta say, because it's so damn smooth. Oops. Hold on, I got an idea. Boxes, right? The weapon handling. And then Habsburg, I'll move this to that. Okay. Won't last much longer. Gotta find the bastards. <laughs> Killed him. Uh, I don't think he had a lot of armor, but there was only seven million transfers, so that's a long ways to climb. Big drop from 17 to 9. I mean, 17 to 7, really. There's 10 right there, though. So, yeah, after two stacks, we have enough damage. Huh. I mean, you could stick with your nemesis for two kills and then go from there. Let's just try and see how annoying that is. Detecting additional hostile contacts. I mean, you could use your attack 52. So right, right there. Those are two buff. Let's get this out here. Got a red guy. Ugh, not enough. So it's coming from the drop and damage by switching to the weapon. That's annoying. Let's try it again. It's 25. Color mine. God, eight on crit. God, that's a big drop. Yeah, might not be might not be enough. We'd have to like fully power up the build and then like why? It's not worth it that then it becomes a point like, yeah, I mean we got it to work. And I am sure you can get it to work, but you'd lose so much resistance. It'd be like, why am I doing this? Cause if you're just gonna if you lose all your resistance so you have to stay in cover anyways, then you might as well just run a sniper. It's just as easy. So it's, it's only to get out of cover is why you'd want to get it to work. But it, that weapon is a laser beam. I mean, I am missing a lot of damage. Just power it up and just see. See how much it can power it up. I mean, I almost did. It's all it's all red. So it's going to add a little bit of headshot damage. But... It's so much to make up for. It's sort of a Providence is fine. There we go. So all red. Got one weapon handle or one blue core, right? One weapon handling. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to change that for this. So. Come on. God. Won't get out of cover. <laughs> Whatever, right? Like, no way. Okay, so 22. So we're basically capped out. Didn't get much bigger, but... Seven point seven. So that's just one shot kill. 
One kill, I mean, without stacking kills. Okay, so let me do this one now. So now we gotta get two kills and see what happens. But it's already beyond annoying. There's one. Forty million. Okay, so if it doesn't get it here, irritating. We don't want that guy. It's too easy to kill. Well, I guess we're gonna have to. Yep, seven point six million. Now we're at eleven, but we're doing it now. We're at full stacks. So you could snipe your way to four and then run around. Um, I don't know. It'd require a whole nother layer of testing. the fastest build really is a pistol build um i mean but they're all like really close to each other but the pistol or the rifle 1886 build would work hunter's fury it was just king it was just king sniper builds are close though they are close but like there's just so many instances where i just don't want to wait for the enemies to come to me and so i go meet the enemies and um Sniper builds are great. You could like in, a, in this mission, you know, a sniper build is amazing. You can park it right here and clear this entire field, right? And um, so it's that would be really fast. But in some control points, like um, what's that one that we go to? The solar farm. Solar farms has got a lot of uh, obstructions, and that's, so it's not a lot of clear angles for you. So you have to move around a lot and run, kind of move run around and everything. And so, um. You know, with the pistol build or a Hunter's Fury build, that it makes it really convenient. You can go up to people and slap them with your pistol, change their color. Now you own it, you know. And so I felt like the Hunter's Fury pistol build was the best one. But you could easily do it with the 1886 rifle also. But with the power buff, the pistol was killing at range. Not really, Teal. <laughs> Not really. I mean, not in my opinion. I, I couldn't honestly say yes to you there. I mean, I rarely pick up the Bighorn. And when I do, it's going to be a striker build. So um, I would say Umbra, but it's not. <laughs> and so uh, there's some weapons that you shouldn't add RPMs to. And the Bighorn is one of them. And the reason why is because it's, it's got a small mag. And because it requires nothing but headshots out of you, basically, because you got to maintain those head headshots as well as use that added headshot damage it gave you. So, which is only happening when you land on the head. So it's basically asking 100% headshots out of you type of gameplay. Which is not the worst thing, but the reality is even if we love headshots, we, we're really upper torso with our assault rifles right we kind of go for the the center mass shoulders in the head kind of like a triangle when we play with the assault rifles and you you tend to start off with the torso and then work your way up to the head in a matter of microseconds and so if you go 100 percent for the head then you're missing a lot of shots and then if you speed it up with something like umbra with its rpms then you're missing more shots faster and so it's actually uh, catering to the issue instead of fixing it. Now, Striker also 
but it's only 15%, so it's not as dramatic. And plus, it's giving you some weapon handling to go along with it, where Umbra doesn't do that. So, and then it tends to be just the right amount, but also for that damage that you need when you're not landing headshots. So when you are accidentally hitting the torso, at least they're going to be more potent because of that amplified damage. So I just feel like it ends up being striker. And even then I don't like it, <laughs> you know, it's okay. I don't hate it. I just notice I'm always reloading, but yeah, it's a tough one for the community. The big horn. Some people really like it. They're cool with it. Um, so it is, you know, taster's choice, I guess, but it's just that it's always been in the area of complaints for the uh, community because it's never really felt like it's on par for what it is, which is a legendary drop. And so you feel like it should be really good for legendary missions and it's sort of not, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I have to go right up to the enemies and play close and personal with it in heroic content. Yeah, it's just poor handling small mag. And the crazy thing is, is they, they buffed it, right? Remember it used to be worse handling. They actually improved it and then they buffed it again recently. So it's gone through two rounds of adjustments, but what it really needs at least is a, another 20 rounds. That's what it's going to take to get that thing to work another 20 rounds. So it's not so painful when you miss, uh, at least you're not reloading all the time. But on paper, the big horn is king, right? Like if you watch any of the, the paper players, they'll show you that, oh yeah, if you want to be God tier, you run the big horn, it's up there, you know? But it just it doesn't work that, it doesn't play out like that, you know? Some some weapons do and some weapons don't, you know, like the F2000, you could arguably say it's, you know, it plays out close to what it is on paper, but I don't know. I mean, it probably does, but it doesn't, but not as far as like impacting your actual gameplay. So, you know what I mean? So it will show that maybe you have the best DPS, I guess. But when it comes to, you know, clearing control points faster or clearing legendary faster, it's going to be the same as if you were running your Famas or your Police M4 or your Ouroboros or your Tactical Vector. They're all going to, you're going to clear the content at the same speeds, you know? And so that's why it's like, well, so what do you want to do with that power is really the big question. And so if you want more DPS so that you can add on more survivability, then that's a very logical reason to go for dps you know more dps we all go for dps obviously but why do you need more now if you say you feel weak and you want more dps because you feel weak i and you're running a striker build <laughs> i'd wonder if it's really your handling that you might want to look at or your armor on kill or something you might not you might be do you feel weak because you're being suppressed too much and so you're not killing fast because you're always hiding in cover, waiting for your heels to kick in. Do you feel weak because you're missing a lot of shots? But you shouldn't feel weak with a four-piece striker, really. You know? Even if you're running all armor. Yeah, so if you're all out DPS, yeah. Yeah. If you're all out DPS, it's really hard to tell the differences between these weapons and how they're playing out. But you should be able to tell a negative impact pretty darn easy. Right, so you, you probably, if you're pretty consistent with your FAMAS and your F2000 or whatever you're using, and then you go to the Bighorn, you, you're probably gonna notice all the reloads all of a sudden. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn, I'm always reloading this weapon, you know? And when you're reloading the weapon, that means that enemy is, if you're always reloading, then that means there's a lot of times where that enemy is still standing right in front of you and then he melees you and then he shoots you and you're taking more damage than you should because you're always reloading, you know? Yeah, I get it. I don't use the St. Elmo's too much either because it's pretty good. You might try the G36 with Stabilize. Take a look at that. 
um or the tkb was stabilized i haven't gone back in there and i've been meaning to we're just kind of doing some stuff here but like those are surprisingly good yeah they're not damage talents but you are steady streaming on the head and more bullets on target is pretty good i felt really powerful with stabilize <laughs> You feel really spoiled, Maddie. I know. Yeah, and you know, I got into fast hands for a while. Um, you know, I was running a a police M4, you know, before before St. Elmo's and all that. But fast hands was nice. You don't need to do it anymore because now you got weapons like St. Elmo's, you know? So you, why why go fast hands when you can just shock the shit out of everybody <laughs> and still get your weapon handling in high crits, you know? Um, but it's nice to continuously fire and close in that gap on reloads. But anyways, the TKB was stabilized and the G36 was stabilized and the AUG assault rifle is one I need to test with stabilized. I've been meaning to get back out there and do those. I have them ready to go. Those, those can be very powerful in legendary content. They can be skull crushers on those chungas. You know, when they're coming at you and you just well in on those, on their helmet and break it with your DPS and just go right and chew right through his skull. I mean, just headshot mania. You know, and the reason why I think it matters is because in Legendary, everybody plays so deep. You know, they're always way back there. Even when you're in the world's smallest room, they tend to be way in the back of it. <laughs> you know, and it's just like you run that with an 8x scope. If you like running 8x scopes, I do on my assault rifles. And then you just you're really going in after the head and then you get rewarded even more for it compensating and so i feel like you're doubling up there because you're landing more shots on the head but you're like yeah but i could have a damage talent there true but then you run the 8x scope and it makes up for that lost damage from a damage talent so now you got your weapon handling and your headshot damage buff which is the equivalent of basically if you put it together like three crit damage mods almost right almost that's a lot of da added damage to your build and they're guaranteed as long as you're landing in the head and you know so you you know the story anyways folks it's quite late i better call it i know i'm keeping you guys up <laughs> and tomorrow you got a full day of grinding so i'll catch you guys tomorrow and then we do have a a, a rifle build video launching in the morning so enjoy that one I'll catch you guys later.